So because is cells that have reduced MHC class one expression is very important to identify because usually whenever a cell has reduced MHC class one expression, it indicates either a virus infected cell like a HIV virus or it could be a tumor cell. In this particular video, we are going to discuss only on the origin of the natural killer cells at the same time the mechanism actions of the natural killer cells and probably the surface markers of natural killer cells which is important for identifying the NK cell neoplasms. So first of all, if you ask me where the natural killer cells are coming from, they are not coming from the B cell lineage as well as the T cell lineage but they do arise from lymphoid precursor cells which means they are from lymphoid lineage only, they arise from lymphoid precursor cells but the exact mechanism of what is the cell of origin and how they mature is clearly not understood, even many immunology books do not give this exact mechanism of maturation and development of natural killer cells. But we know that these cells do exist. So what are the markers of these cells? The markers of these cells are typically two markers, other one is called CD16 and second one is called CD56. These are the two markers. The way to remember these markers for natural killer cells, you have a traditional mnemonic for this, we call them as sexy 16 or natural killers. You can remember. So you can write sexy 16 or natural killer cells. So they are natural killers, obviously you know that. So this is the way to remember your NK cell markers. At the same time, you also have to know what are the ways that the cells exhibit their killing mechanism. The first way how the cells, natural killer cells exhibit their killing mechanism is by, you know, like um, detecting cells, those have reduced MHC class 1 expression. So whenever a cell has reduced MHC class 1 expression, those cells will be targeted for killing. How they do that? Let us see in some time. And second mechanism, how they exhibit their killing function is by uh, using some mechanism called ADCC. This is called as antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity. This is what we are going to call it as. This is called antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity. And uh, they also mediate uh, one more mechanism that is called cytokine production. So they also do produce certain cytokines and again by cytokine production also they can exhibit their killing. So first let us see the, I mean how they do by reduce MHC class 1 expression. So because is cells that have reduced MHC class 1 expression is very important to identify because usually whenever a cell has reduced MHC class 1 expression it indicates either a virus infected cell like a HIV virus or it could be a tumor cell or it could be a tumor cell. So that is why identification of the cells and killing them is really important. So how they do identify? So naturally you have the target cell and second one you have your NK cell. And what are the receptors that activate and inhibit them? So first you can know that uh, the important inhibiting receptor on the target cell is MHC class 1. The MHC class 1, if it is present, it has to inhibit the target cell, I mean to inhibit the NK cell so that the killing will not happen. And the NK cell side, you have a receptor called KIR receptor and the net effect, if this recognition happens, net effect on the NK cell will be inhibiting, inhibiting action. Number two, on the target cell, you have a receptor for activation also, like uh, this is called an activating receptor. So activating receptor is classically something called MIK or MICA, this is a very important activating receptor from the target cell. The cell also tells that I have been infected or I am an abnormal cell. So that is done by producing, expressing certain, uh, you know, like uh, uh, markers called MICA. Then you have uh, the receptor on the NK cell side that recognizes this activating ligand that is MICA, that is NKG 2D or LY49H. So these are the two important receptors, you know, the important ligands probably that recognize this MICA receptor. So the net effect of this interaction will be activating interaction. So this is how they recognize, you know, like uh, the cells that have reduced MHC class and expression or an abnormal cell like a tumor cell or a virus infected cell. So let me come back to that. You can see here, uh, first thing you can see this is an activating receptor on the target cell side. So this is an activating receptor. I told you the activating receptor is typically something called MIK on the target cell side and this will be recognized by uh, this something called NKG2D 
or LY49H. We already discussed. So this is the that particular receptor. So this interaction will be typically activating kind of interaction. Similarly, this MHC class 1 expression on the target cell and recognition by this KIR receptor, this will be an inhibitory interaction. Clear? Suppose if both are there, suppose if an activating receptor is also there, inhibitory receptor is also there, nothing will happen. I'll come back to that in some time. Suppose if you have, if you don't have MHC class 1 expression, if you don't have this MHC class 1 expression, what is going to happen is, only the activating interaction will be there, which means it will activate the NK cell and there is no inhibiting interaction, which means the cell doesn't possess this MHC class 1 to inhibit the natural killer cell. So they are going to release their granule and they are going to produce cytotoxicity and they are going to kill this particular target cell. So the granule release will produce something called granzymes and perforins. These are the important granules. At the same time, they also produce certain cytokines. Typically, what cytokines they produce is going to be something called TNF alpha and interferon gamma. You all know that interferon gamma is a very important and powerful vasodilator and TNF alpha is a very important agent that recruits the neutrophils and phagocytes to the site of inflammation and they are going to kill that particular target cell and they are going to phagocytose that cell. So this is what is going to happen. So but I didn't tell you what are the interactions. Suppose let us see the different kind of interaction that happens. So let us see activating receptor, inhibitor receptor. I told you if activating receptor is present and inhibitory interaction is not present, the net effect will be to kill that particular target cell. This is where the killing happens, where the inhibitory interaction, that is MHC class 1 is not present and the activating interaction through MIK a is present. So the effect is to kill the particular cell. Any other combination will not have any effect. For example, if you don't have activating receptor and you have only inhibiting receptor, no effect. The cell will not be killed. Similarly, if both activation and both inhibitor receptor are present, still there will be no effect and killing will not happen. That's what we see the, saw the example in that particular diagram. If both are absent also, still you will not have any effect. So the only combination that makes the natural killer cells to kill a particular target cell is when the MHC class 1 is down-regulated, which means the inhibitory interaction will not be there, but the MIK a will be overexpressed. That is that the activation, activating interaction will be present. So this is the place where the target cell will be killed. So this is what we refer to as something called, uh, you know, like natural killer cell mediated killing, MK cell mediated killing in cells that have reduced MHC class 1 expression. Second, I mean, third mechanism already explained, they are going to uh, cause cytokine release also, and they are going to cause recruitment of the phagocytic and other inflammatory cells to that area so that the target cell may be phagocytes are killed by other enzyme release from other cells. Second mechanism, which we didn't discuss, that is antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity. So, what do you mean by antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity? I told you already, very important, whichever cell that is coated with antibodies, this is what we refer to as something called opsonization. One of the important opsonizing receptors we already discussed, that is opsonizing immunoglobulins we discussed already is immunoglobulin G. This is the best opsonizing immunoglobulin ever available. And you always remember that the natural killer cells also have a way to sense this cells that are coated with antibodies in the form of CD16 receptor you can see here in the form of something called CD16 receptor and this is nothing but an FC receptor to be honest you can call it as FC gamma receptor which means it's going to recognize the FC portion of the gamma immunoglobulin that is IgG so this is what we refer to as CD16 one of the important markers of natural killer cells we discussed already so this is an FC gamma receptor that recognizes the uh, cells that are coated with the antibodies. So once the cells that are coated with antibodies are detected by natural killer cells, they are also going to cause enzyme release. That typically the granular enzyme release, that is granzymes and perforins will be released. And they also release a lot of cytokines. The cytokines typically they are going to release interferon gamma and again TNF alpha also. And uh, again, the same thing will happen. So they are going to kill that particular target cell. So these are the two principal mechanisms by how natural killer cells kill a particular target cell is one by identifying cells that they have reduced MHC class 1 expression. And second is by uh, identifying cells that are coated with antibodies. That mechanism is called antibody dependent cell mediated cytoxidy. But this CD16 is a very important question for your exams. Especially they will ask you what is that particular uh, you know, like receptor, that CD protein that is important for recognizing this antibody dependent 
cell mediated cytotoxicity for the function of ADCC. So that is why that CDC explains is important. So these are the principles. And what are the cytokines that enhance the function of natural killer cells? TNF alpha, interferon gamma, interferon alpha, interferon beta, interleukin 2, and interleukin 12. So these are the cytokines that enhance the function of natural killer cells that enhance the function of natural killer cells with addition as I already told you TNF alpha and uh, interferon gamma to an extent can also enhance the function of natural killer cells but this is the major cytokines these are the major cytokines that are going to enhance the interaction of that enhance the function of the natural killer cells so but in exam most important thing is this markers that you have to know that is CD16 and 56 for natural killer cells so I think uh, we have made a very very short one but an interesting one on how natural killer cells are going to work. So with this we can conclude this particular video and we can move on to the next topic.